Greetings, it's Ian from RTL here. Welcome to a brand new album review, as we do on Fridays. And this one is a band that I discovered last year. And I've now had, I had some gifts from Mike for when I got my new record deck of the Beavis Frond and the new album that came out last Friday called Focus on Nature. Now, for those that don't know, Beat the Beavis Front is a project put together by multi-musician, singer, songwriter, Nick Salomon. But on here, he has got some some help. Um, so Nick plays guitars, keyboards, dulcimer, sitar and vocals. Lewis Wiggett plays the bass. Barry Watts plays guitar. Dave Pierce is on the drums. Paul Simmons is on guitar. And Debbie... Wildman to some singing. It's quite a long album like most Beavis albums are, but they have some great tracks. So the first one on this one is Heat. It's got that typical sort of Nick Star intro, a little bit of radio and a bit of tongue and treat, and then it goes into a great riff. Really good opening track. Um, you know it's the Beavis front. Uh, and it's a great vocal from Nick. Absolutely great track. Title track comes next. Focus on um, nature. This is a, what, a middle of the road sort of track. Really strong track though. Some great guitar work here from Nick. Um, and his vocals are still very strong. That's a sort of real mellow. It's not mellow, but it, it, it's, it is a middle of the road sort of track. Great track. God's Gift comes next. Some nice guitar solo on this. Um, Nick's a very underrated guitar player. He, he, he really, sometimes he gets the pitch a little bit wrong, but on here he's absolutely perfect. I really like this track. Then we have Virtual Ribbon Man. A very short track, some nice piano on this. Uh, sounds really nice, very gentle. Again, Nick down playing the piano on that. It's an excellent track. A mirror comes now. This is a very sort of 60s pop thing. It's got a great bass line uh, from Lewis. Nice rhythm. Really, really strong track again. Uh, it's great to have these sort of strong tracks. Leboff. Now, this is one track that I really can't get into at the moment. I've been playing it all week. Um, I just can't get into this one I don't know I'm sure I will eventually but at the moment I'm sort of on the fence with that one uh, up next is here for the other one we've gone back this got that lovely organ that you got on the late 60s early 70s songs I do like that richness of that uh, really adds to the track some nice guitar work happy wings is next it's just one of them nice, simple songs. Acoustic guitar. Very pleasant song. Empty is just a typical Nick and Beavis Frond track. Some nice guitars on this. Some nice atmospherics. Uh, some great drumming. Absolute killer track. Wrong Way Round. The keyboard at the beginning is quirky. And it's got some great guitar work from Nick. Another really good track. Mr. Fred's Disco. Now this has got a sort of an Oasis sort of Britpop feel to it. Uh, but it's got probably one of the best guitar solos on here from Nick. Absolutely fantastic. Jack Immortal. You go from this uh, sort of Oasis sound to a post-punk sound. I do like that. There's quite a few of their tracks that like this. It's got great riffs. Lots of energy. And then we have Hair Streaks. Again, a totally change of direction. Nice gentle track. It's got some nice gentle guitar on this. And another really good solo. Maybe we got it wrong. Very catchy tune. Great vocals. It's just a really strong um, percussion on that as well. Brockadine, another little short semi-acoustic song with some nice acoustic guitars, nice and gentle, wonderful little song. But my favourite track on here at the moment has to be Big 
Black Sky. I just love the tempo of the song. It's got some great guitar. Um, when I first heard it, oh, that this is good. And I had to go and turn it up a little bit more. Yes. Good job the neighbours were out. Um, the Hug. Another outstanding track. Uh, some, It's just quality after quality track on this album and this is up there it's probably my second favorite track on the album ah uh, i can't breathe this track features lots of acoustic guitar really nice and then you get a little bit of electric guitar to give it an extra depth hung on a wire great track to end the album another it's probably a top one of the top three tracks on this it's just got oh, a fantastic guitar solo from Nick it's well put to get the track and a great one to end the album okay as I said as were most Beavis front albums there's a lot of tracks on here there's 19 on this but they're all of good quality there are no filler on this album whatsoever um, I like how he's mixed up the different sort of genres You've got post-punk, you've got his 60s pop, you've got a bit of psychedelic in there, you've got some just out-and-out -out rock, some lovely acoustics, and Nick's still on top of his game. It's a very strong album, and I can tell you now, this will definitely be in my top 20 at the end of the year. Um, I've played it quite a lot. I haven't got it yet, but I will be getting it. Um, because it is a really strong album and I'm sure I'll be talking to Mike about this tomorrow when we're up in Leeds so I'm going to give this an RTO ranking of 8.6 okay up next another brand new album and this is the new album from Iron Maiden frontman Mr Bruce Dickinson so join me for that later bye for now <laughs> 